is an instructional video on how to connect the M32R to the PA system and get sound coming out of the PA system. All right, here we go. This is your M32R from the front. This is the rear view of the Midas M32R. And we're going to be paying particular attention to the AES-50A port, and I'll show you that. You'll notice the AES-50A port right next to the Midas uh, logo, bottom right-hand side of the console. This will be the AES-50A port right here. There's also a B port, but you won't use that one. You'll just use the AES-50A port. Use a standard Cat5 cable for this connection. Plug it in there, and this is what it looks like when it's plugged in. This is what it looks like when it's plugged in and labeled properly. Cat5 cable connected to the AES-50A port. Now that you have connected the Cat5 cable to the back of the Elm32R in the AES-50A port, run that cable to the stage and locate the Midas DL32. That's the digital snake. It looks like this. Go to the back of the DL32 digital snake. We'll just call it the DL32. And connect that Cat5 cable to the AES-50A port on the back of the DL32. Here's what that port looks like. And that's where you should plug it in. You are now ready to move on to step three. Let's move on to step three. That's connecting the DL32 to the QSC KLA 12 top speakers. Don't let the names and numbers trip you up. Basically, you're just connecting the digital snake to the speakers. So we're going to go out of the DL32 uh, by outputs 15 and 16 right here located uh, at the bottom right hand corner of the DL32. You'll connect a microphone cable otherwise known as an XLR cable to output 15 and output 15 will go to the left speakers. As you're looking at the stage the left speaker cluster is the one to your left hand side and output 16 will go to the right hand speakers as you're looking at the stage. The speakers to the right are the right-hand speakers. That's also known as uh, house left and house right. Okay, so output 15, connect to house left speakers. Output 16, connect to house right speakers. Here's a view of the back of the QSC KLA-12 speakers. And here's a closer view of what they look like. You'll notice that the power supply is located uh, top left of the QSC speakers, and it's a blue, what we call speak on cable. You'll make sure that gets plugged into an outlet. Do not power up these speakers just yet. That will come in another step. Just make the connection. The first thing you'll want to do is connect that XLR from output 16 to the top QSC KLA 12 speaker, and you want to connect it to the uh, port that says line in. So connect that to line in. And then right below line in is a port, XLR port, that says line out. You want to connect another XLR from the line out to the bottom QSC KLA-12. There's two speakers, top and bottom, in the line input connection. So go ahead and make those connections. Step four is connecting the top speakers to your subs. Now, from the bottom speaker that you just connected line in, you'll want to go from line out using another XLR cable, preferably a short one, not a long one, so it doesn't uh, look messy. You'll want to go from the bottom QSC KLA-12 speaker, line out to the sub, line in. And now all three of your speakers are talking to each other because they're all connected to each other. Let's move on to step five. Step five, powering up the M32R. 
The M32R will live at the position called front of house. Front of house is basically the part of the auditorium or event center, what have you, um, where the mixing board is and the light controller is and PowerPoint is. Um, so basically that's called front of house. Front of house. Just remember that because we'll refer to it quite a bit. Okay, at front of house, you're going to have uh, what's called a power conditioner. Here's a typical one made by Furman. This power conditioner will be plugged in to an electrical socket, and this will actually supply the power to the M32R and any other electronic devices at front of house. On the back of the M32R, make sure this IEC port has an IEC cable plugged into it, which is a power cable and plug that into the back of the Furman power conditioner. After you've done that, go ahead and switch the M32 on by flipping this little switch right here. And the M32R is now powered up. Step six, powering up the DL32. Uh, the DL32, as you know, is located on stage. So go ahead and locate the DL32, which is the digital snake. All right. This is what it looks like, obviously. All right. Now the back of it, as you already know, looks like this. Make sure a an IEC cable is plugged into that port, the IEC port that we talked about on the m 32 r Basically, all electronic components have those. So go ahead and get a power supply, plug that in. And then you'll notice this power switch here. Go ahead and flip that on. And now the DL32 will be powered up. Step seven, power up both the top speakers. These are the QSC KLA 12 speakers. Both of them need to be powered on. You'll notice that this power supply is a little different. This is called a speak on connector. It's blue. I've got an arrow in red pointing to it. That's basically a power supply cord. Um, plug that into a wall socket or an extension cord or something. But on the other end, it's it's a regular uh, plug-in, any like any plug that you plug into the wall socket. So once you make that connection, that's your power supply. Plug that in, and then you'll see the other red arrow pointing to the power switch. Go ahead and power that on, and do the same for the speaker right below it, the other KLA speaker right below it, and those will be powered up. Step eight, the final step in powering up your PA. Let's power up the subs and that will be it. This is not a very good picture, but the arrow points to the power switch. Just go ahead and power that on and your subs will be powered up. And now the entire system is powered up and ready to run some content through it, whether it's your iPod or whether you want to check it with a mic. But the system is now entirely powered up and ready to roll. On a side note, uh, just so I know I said it, make sure that you power up both sets of speakers, house left and house right. Then your system will be entirely powered up.